Today we're going to be talking about function notations and compositions. This is section 7.1 in the Algebra 2 book. Function notation is when you have f of x or g of x equals and then your equation and this is the same thing as having y equals so like when it says f of x equals x plus 3 that's the same thing as having y equals x plus 3 g of x equals 3x over x minus 5 is the same thing as y equals 3x over x minus 5. Putting an f of x or g of x on it is just like calling them a name, like calling them Frank or calling them, you know, George instead of calling them y equals. It's just a way to be more specific so that if I said, hey, look at the f function, you know, which one of those two equations I'm talking about on that page. Okay, so when we um, evaluate a function, for a specific value, like well, number one, we're evaluating for negative one. That means we're plugging that in as f. I mean, as x. So into the f equation. So in number one, it says find f of negative one, and that means we are doing negative one plus three, and we get an answer of two to that one. On number two, you are plugging five in as x, and you're doing five plus three to get eight for an answer to number two. Look at number 3 and 4, try to plug the value 2 in as x into the g equation and then plug negative 5 in as x to the g equation. Pause the video until you're ready to go through these together. Plugging 2 in as x into the g equation means we do 3 times 2 and then divide that by 2 minus 5. 3 times 2 is 6, 2 minus 5 is negative 3, and when I divide 6 divided by negative 3 I get negative 2 for a final answer. On number four, plugging negative five in as x, three times negative five is negative fifteen, over negative five minus five is negative ten, negative fifteen divided by negative ten is positive one point five. You can add, subtract, multiply, and divide two functions together. If we add Frank and George together like we are in number one, I take Frank's equation, I add to it George's equation, and I add like terms. So x squared plus x squared would be 2x squared. 4x plus negative 3x would be 1x. And negative 5 plus 9 would be 4. So 2x squared plus x plus 4 is your final answer. Number 2, we are taking Frank and we're subtracting George. So write down Frank's equation minus George's equation. And you want to subtract like terms. So x squared minus x squared is going to cancel out. 4 subtract negative 3 would be 7, and that's how many x's you have. Negative 5 subtract 9 would be negative 14. So 7x minus 14 is what we get when we take Frank and subtract George. On the next slide, Frank's equation is now x plus 4. George's equation is now x minus 3. We are going to start on number 1 by taking Frank and multiplying by George. Frank times George means that we have to FOIL x plus 4 and x minus 3. FOIL gives you x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 12. You can combine your like terms in the middle. And we get x squared plus 1x minus 12 for a final answer when we multiply Frank and George together. Number two, we are taking Frank and we are dividing him by George. Frank on top. George on bottom, which sounds dirty, but mathematically is what you're doing. X plus 4 on top over X minus 3 on bottom. You cannot cancel the X's. They stay as they are, though X on top is married to the 4. The X minus 3 on bottom is, uh, the X on bottom is married to that minus 3. So you cannot cancel those X's. This is your final answer. On number 3, we reverse the division so that George is on top and Frank is on bottom, which again sounds dirty, but mathematically is what you're doing x minus 3 is on top over x plus 4 on bottom. You cannot reduce those x's. They stay as they are. Sometimes you can divide things that will divide, but in that particular case there isn't anything to do. You would have to factor and then cancel factors like we did when we talked about fractions back in chapter 9. Function compositions. This means that you'll have an open circle between your Frank and your George. So like for the first example, we have Frank, open circle, George. It's not fog, it looks like fog, but it means composition. That open circle stands for composition. When George comes second, that means George is the one going into Frank. What George's equation will be will be replaced as x in Frank's equation. If you have 
g composition f g open circle f that means that Frank's equation comes second and he's the one that has to move into George so Frank's equation would go into George now I know you're probably now you're probably laughing hysterically because it sounds funny but this is just mathematically what we're doing so let's do number one together I'm gonna circle George's equation and I'm gonna put him into Frank so circle George's equation which is x minus three and we're gonna replace that as x into Frank's equation so two times x minus three and then minus one 2 times x minus 3, when you distribute the 2, you get 2x minus 6. And now we have minus 1 after that, which is 2x minus 7 for a final answer. On number 2, we are taking Frank's equation, and we're putting him into George's equation. So I'm going to circle Frank's equation. I replace it into George. 2x minus 1 goes in as x, and then I have minus 3 after that. So when I combine my minus 1 and minus 3, I get 2x minus 4 for a final answer to that one. Again, it's not fog. It's not golf. Open circle means a composition. One is going into the other one as x. All right, you try these two. On the first one, you're taking Frank's equation and replacing it into George's. On number two, you're taking George's equation and replacing it into Frank's. Pause until you're ready to go over them. On number one, I'm going to circle Frank's equation. He's going into George as x. So four times x squared plus two, and then you have minus one. Four times x squared plus two means you have four x squared plus eight. Now we have this minus one after that. The minus of one is going to combine with the plus eight to make seven. So four x squared plus seven is our final answer. On number two, I'm going to circle George's equation because he is the one that's got to move. He's got to go in as Frank, as x. So 4x minus 1 squared and then plus 2. 4x minus 1 squared means you have to FOIL. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. And then outside would give me minus 4x. Inside gives me minus 4x. Last times last gives me plus 1. And then we have a plus 2 after that on the end of our equation. Combine like terms, negative 4x and negative 4x makes negative 8x, 1 and 2 makes 3. So final answer, 16x squared minus 8x plus 3. Okay, when you are evaluating a number in a composition, we start with the, uh, to the most right, we start with the innermost right part of the problem, which on number 3 means we're going to evaluate George of negative 2. That means you're replacing negative 2 as x into George's equation. 4 times negative 2 minus 1 would be negative 9 for an answer. Now you take that answer negative 9 and we're replacing it into Frank's equation. Negative 9 is going in as x into Frank's equation. Negative 9 squared would be 81 plus 2 is 83 for a final answer. Number four, I'm going to do one with you and then let you try number five. On number four, we're going to start with the innermost right part of the problem, which is f of zero, Frank of zero. You're replacing x with zero, zero squared plus two. It's two for an answer to that part. You're taking that answer two and you're replacing it into George's equation. Two times four and then minus one gives you an answer of seven and that's your final answer to this problem. Try number five. You're going to start by doing Frank of three, three squared plus two. That's nine plus two, which is 11. Take that answer 11 and plug it into George as x. Four times 11 minus one. That's 44 minus one, which is 43 for a final answer.